So Duncan McPherson was a Canadian ice hockey player, showed flashes of brilliance growing up in the rink. Playfully nicknamed McPherson, as in fear, by his teammates due to his no-holds-barred attitude and playing style, McPherson went on to be drafted by the New York, New York Islanders in 1984 in the NHL draft, although there was plenty of promise in his game. A rash of injuries kept him from lacing up his skates and playing in his full potential. After being released by the Islanders, McPherson continued to play hockey in the lower circuit. It was in the summer of 1989 things looked up for McPherson. He was offered a position as a player coach in an ice hockey team in Scotland. Before flying to Scotland, McPherson planned to touch down in Austria for a quick ski trip, a nice reward for staging a small comeback. A few days later, when McPherson failed to show up for the flight to Scotland, his family and new employers immediately conducted a search of Austria. The last person had, that had spoken to McPherson was a ski lift employee who claimed that McPherson chatted with him before heading up the mountain. Presumably, it would take one more trip down the slope before dusk. Adding to the mystery were reports from friends that McPherson had been acting rather strange lately, claiming that the CIA had been recruiting him to spy. Despite rescuer's best efforts, McPherson would remain missing until 12 years later when his mangled body was discovered in frozen ice. Theory suggests that McPherson had broken his leg while skiing and eventually lost consciousness in the frigid temperatures. At some point, a tiller, which grooms the snow, ran over his body, killing him. Some doctors suggest that McPherson was actually conscious upon impact, claiming his arms were found in a rather defensive position. <laughs>